the two to the, to the regular. She does, she does. Um, all right. Hey, what's up, peeps? Idalo mio. Sit down and take a seat. Que loque. Sien, siéntate. Lawrence and beyond, tell me please what is going on on this episode. Like always, hosting, you got my Jean Benny E. Hey guys, and today we got a special guest. We got Drift Ace, baby. What's good? What's man? up? What's up? How you doing, brother? Doing good, brother. You're doing good, good man. How are you doing? Like, it's dope to have you here. It's, it's dope to have you here. I've been admiring you for you, a long time, and and, I, and I'm and I'm seeing slowly but surely, man. You're building up a nice legacy, doing crafting of what, of doing what you really love, man. Yeah, and to the viewers and listeners out there, what is it that you do, man? So I am a creator of vintage clothing, um, mostly T-shirts. Then I get into like jackets and stuff, and sweaters, and sometimes. Hats. Hats a little harder because they're like always when you find them they're kind of dirty right. and stuff. So. But mostly just vintage clothing, anything, anything. Ni- I try to stick to the years of nineties, eighties, and seventies. Yeah. So mostly nineties. I mean, you're only gonna really find nineties stuff out there. Right. But eighties and seventies, and you find that it's really, it's really, uh, it's really something and, when you find how, that. How, how do you know that what you're looking at is not a reprint, but something from that time? Oh, there's, there's a few th- ways you can check that. So. Nowadays, clothes have um, their their tags. You know, the sizing tag will have it printed on the actual shirt. Okay. So when people you, you know, like people don't like that when they have something a little tag on the back. So back in the '80s and '90s, they only had tags, and on the tag, most clothing uh, in the '90s and '80s and '70s were made in the U.S. So that you would have to have you have to look for a tag, and a tag would have to say "Made in the U.S." Oh, in, okay. in the sizing tag. And then also another indication of it is the um, the stitching on the arms. Yeah. It'll be a single what they call a single stitch. Mm-hmm. So Take notes, guys. one line is that means you're good. Mm. Two lines, you knew. You knew. Oh, you knew. is it words? Yeah. I've always loved thrifting, but I yeah. never knew that. Yeah. So I'll that's one of that the. In mind. It's probably that single stitch is probably the best indicator of you have a, a vintage, real, real vintage T-shirt. An Shoot. actual t- that's from the 80s and 90s. And, um, and there's also sometimes they'll have on the print there'll be a little date. There'll be a little date on it somewhere. Yeah, you gotta look for that as well. That's dope, man. And yeah. what 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 gave you the hunger for that? What was like your first? Like you know what? This is this is what I want to do, man. Well, for me, I've always I'm really stylish. I've always been in the style. Like I always like fashion, and I always try to be fashion forward. So I'm always like looking at magazines, yeah. watching videos, YouTube videos, and um, this guy back in the, people know him now, um, Jerry Lorenzo. Jerry he's he's a um, he, his his brand is called Fear of God. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he uh, he um, did a drop with um, vintage band tees okay. that were um, it said you know he'd find the tee and then you print his logo on the bottom of the tee and um, it was like they blew up, people who knew about it blew up was like yo that's yeah. crazy like you can't find that where is that like so mind you his like stuff the T-shirt alone was worth a lot of money and then he put his own branding on it which made it even more so it's more it was more um sought after in a sense you know like yeah where can you get this shirt like so so people started going out and finding black band t-shirts because you couldn't get that one so you try to find your own you know you, you could yeah. really really thrift those at the time people people were like into it but they weren't like that into it right. so i saw that and i like i lived in a jersey at the time and i, I had a uh, salvation army or a a goodwill down the street from my house. Yeah. And I went over there, and I just started copping everything that I could find for myself, though. Mm-hmm. Like this is all for me. It's like I wanted to be like, you know, I wanted to have that aesthetic of his look. Yeah. So I did that, and I kept on doing it. I just kept on doing it for myself, and and I would like literally find things like crazy stuff. Like, oh, like wow, like. This is crazy. What's well, people comments on the side as you're doing this? What are people? Uh, no, people, not, people, yeah, people, people yeah. who are in, the, in those stores, they're just looking for their own stuff. Okay. A lot of people buy stuff because you know they need it. Some yeah. people looking for like stuff to send to DR. You know, people do that mm-hmm. clothing stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I was just buying as much as I could when I found it, and then I realized I had so much stuff, and I didn't know people really bought stuff like that. You know, yeah. but then I started realizing, yo, people, people sell it. People yeah. sell mm-hmm. their stuff. So I was like, oh, well, I have enough stuff. I'm not going to wear it. I can't wear 80 freaking tees, you know? So no. I started, um, so I didn't sell to people in the beginning. I would sell to stores. 
stores, store, right. thrift stores that would have their own inventory and they came in and we bought. So I would sell to round two. I'd sell to um, this place in New York called uh, Metropolis. Shout out. And then I'd, I'd uh, sell to um, a store in Salem, Mass. Um, Felt Fanatic. Okay. Shout out to Felt. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, yeah, I sold to him. Like, just stuff, you know, stuff that I, I couldn't, I don't, sometimes I don't like selling to myself because online it's a little harder because with the, with the, with the, with the uh, like the, they start taking from you and stuff like that. There's rules. There's rules, right, exactly. Other, and then the shipping, bracket. all the shipping involved and right. you're worried about people getting the stuff or not. So I, I wasn't really that keen on sending stuff to people because I'd rather just sell in bulk to different stores or if somebody saw something on my Instagram, we'll yeah. talk and then I can meet up or I'll send them to them if they need anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, Sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. What are your thoughts on online shopping in general? Do you think eventually like we'll get to a point where that's all we'll be doing or do you think there will always be a need to go and you know, oh, like, shop in places? I hope there will always be a need for shopping at brick and mortar, what they would say, right. places because I, I, for me, for generally, I like to feel the clothes. Right. Yeah. I like to feel what I'm buying. I like to know how it fits. So I, you know, it lays on my body. Like, there's certain things that you put on your body, you're like, oh, you don't, you don't like this. You like it's too high or too low. It's like you can tell if you wash this a few times, mm-hmm. it'll shrink and it's not going to be used to it anymore. Right. That's the thing about fast fashion is that like, it's one of those things that you are going to wear it a couple of times and then you can throw it away. I That's feel like you kind of think you lose that experience. Oh, you do, yeah. You know what I mean? And with that, I just wanted to ask you, um, what is that thrifting process for you like? Um, like, where do you find yourself or where do you go? Or Well... I go to most of the regular places, you know, like Salvation Army, you know. Do you have, like, specific places or just... No, there's random. Anywhere? I literally go everywhere. There's okay. not one place I don't go. All right, cool. So if any way, think about it, any way you could get a piece of clothing, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Any and everywhere. Word. Online, to the stores, wherever. I have, you have to keep, because this, for real, um, in this area, well, most areas, there's, this is very competitive. Yeah. So everybody's going, everybody loves you. Right. People, you know, the price point of buying stuff. And selling it for a certain price is in the margin where people be really attracted to that sort of thing. Right. Right? So that aspect of it, they're like, oh, I can do that. I can go. To, I can go to exactly. every other street, get my things, and sell it to people. Yeah. You know? you gotta be so the thing is that you have to be someone who's very um, passionate about it. Yeah. And be someone who's willing to be patient. Right. Because there are days where I don't find anything. Spend four or five hours driving to places, you don't find nothing. You spend all that money driving. And you know, the money to eat, whatever, and yeah. go back, nothing, and nothing shows up the day. Maybe one t shirt if you love it. So it's very something that you have to be very, very much enjoying doing. Enjoying doing, it, doing it. You have to love it. You're just you know, wasting your time. I, I feel that. I feel that. I mean, I can, I can imagine, let's say, um, like, in order for me to get drifted, because I find like now people are getting used to the aesthetics. You know, it's kind of cool. It, it, you know, people are getting it. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of people like chasing it. What for for people that want to live with that lifestyle? Just starting now, um, you already gave us the tips about you know knowing the the one inch the the one, one stitch the, the one stitch mm-hmm. the one stitch that we could tell all, all those things. But what is a normal price point? Is it something that you feel? Is it something range with the time? Well, what well, the price point of what I tell? Like, like, let's say if you were to price like every shirt is priced literally differently. Do you have like a certain price settings for certain shirts mm-hmm. or would you say not everyone is literally art and depending on the time you know what it went through how much the logo is or whatever that's mm-hmm. how I'm valuing it yeah. well for me most of the time it stems from eBay okay. eBay in a sense serves the price point for certain for certain t-shirts like, like the ones the up here the ones up here yeah. are the ones where if you go on eBay you can look those certain ones up and they have and what you do is you go on eBay and you search the uh, what it sold for last. No. So whatever shirt it's whatever the price it sold for last is what I kind of based it on. Right. But and then there's another um, thing going on online when you look and you see a T-shirt and it's sold like people post it. Oh, this shirt sold for this much money. This shirt sold for that much money. So you're like, all right, so you can gauge it between you want to sell it for that much or this much because the thing at the end of the day, bro, like a shirt is only worth for someone willing to pay for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I could price these shirts. One of these shirts up here, I have for three hundred dollars. That's because I've seen it sold for that much. But like honestly, somebody's not gonna come in here and buy that three hundred dollars. Yeah. So I, you know, I have to work Word. if I really want to sell it. Right. You know I mean? yeah. So if you really want to, man, we can have a conversation. Yeah. And I feel like you're a fan of the brand or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, you know what? 
You like the band? Here we go. We'll make sure this right, you know, right. I don't want to work with anybody, you know? Yeah. Because I know if you really love it, I'm, I'm going to do that. Because, you know, I'm, this is love for me, so I'm like, yeah. I want you to, if you like something, because it's all like pop, like pop culture. Yeah. Like, like, like nostalgia type wear and stuff. So. And I, I could tell, man. And like, even like, that's how you were talking about starting out. You literally went to the drift stores. Mm-hmm. And I bet just getting yourself dirty, you, you, it's not that, you I mean, obviously you learn the trade and everything, but it's like the only way you learn is like getting yourself dirty, oh, you know, like you, like you went in there and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I, you know, and this, that's that's what I have of you, you know, for like things like that. Like, you know, people going hard and going for the passion, getting dirty and learning something from it. Yeah, and, um, and I'm also curious, um, what's your favorite on material? Like like let's say like 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 well, what is you stick to cotton? What's your yeah my favorite because my favorite is the t-shirts yeah. and most um, vintage t-shirts are done with 50-50, which is 50 percent polyester fifty percent cotton yeah that's the best one because it's it's barely shrinks when it when it's in the uh, oh wash. so you what's the what's the so that's the best shrinking ratio what what would you well, say it, is it, it, it doesn't shrink it, well it shrinks a little but not as much yeah. like a like a hundred percent cotton t-shirt. 100% cotton feet is going to shrink like crazy when okay. you wash. But like 50-50 is what these are. Yeah. They, you wash them once, they probably shrink a little bit, and that's it. They won't change them. Like this no. t-shirt I'm wearing, it's probably been washed a thousand times. That's why it's just black. It's, it's just like yeah. faded, faded black. I thought it was just, you got and a gray tee. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, it's it's a good, yeah. Like right? yeah. It's, it's a, it was originally a really black tee, and it got washed over the years. Like this is from 1994, 1995. Holy and crap. And it, it got washed so much, it yeah. turned this color. No. So that's what you're looking for. That's what I look for. Like, this, this. I mean, the print still stayed there. Oh, I, yeah. thought, I thought, like, I don't yeah. understand yeah. how. They don't, like, make, they don't make t-shirts like that. Right. It doesn't. It's so faded. It just makes it look better. Right. Yeah. So this kind, of, this kind of cotton is washed, and then it stays it's big. Look how big it is. It's still. It's you know, dope. Mm-hmm. Dope. And it shrink like your normal another t-shirt. So the more cotton you would say, the more, like you said, 100 percent. You know, it's gonna shrink completely. Yeah. And um, I'm seeing around your room. I have a vibe that you're also a collector of other things, amongst oh, other things. Like I'm seeing, uh, I'm, I forgot the last time I seen a TV like that. I'm seeing all the VHR the VH, rare movies. Yeah. Dude, I see Jurassic Park There's Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> I see kicks over here, man. So yeah. other than the teas and stuff like that, what is your niche thing to, to collect? Uh, to collect, I like, I like vintage toys. Yeah. Um, like, I like, I like VHS tabs, tapes. But I got them mostly for the store because when I actually say store, it's a showroom. Um, decoration in a way. Decoration. But also, <laughs> it kind of makes you, when you walk in, you have to feel the vibe. Right, like exactly. vintage, back yeah. in the day, throwback right. stuff. It gives mm-hmm. you more like, I like to give people a nostalgia experience. Right. Like, you know, oh, I used to have that. Or, you know, I seen yeah. that before back in the day when I was younger. That type of stuff is what drives me to put stuff like this up. You Hell know? yeah, man. And like, go ahead, guys. Sorry, it's, it's just, you know, letting people know that when you come here, like, you're not just buying clothes it you're getting a little bit of education as well on nice. materials and you're very knowledgeable in you know the vintage oh, yeah, um, music and movies and just in general and um so. just just as like a little little side note did did chen do your hair because it, look, it, look, it looks pretty dope <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're right man like to the viewers out there this is liquid death. It's not what you think it is. No, it's not. <laughs> it's literally water. It's literally just water. It's delicious, man. Right? That's what it says. It surprised me that the water could taste as good coming from like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like well, you know, cans cool. are better than bottles. Mm. Yeah. I had no idea. Really? I, I mean, like. <laughs> no. Yeah, I guess because like I, I mean um I, I would imagine a plastic yeah, deteriorates right every turn and it also if you leave water in a plastic for too long it starts the chemicals like fumes and and go into the water yeah but cans doesn't do that and it's these are better these are better biodegradable cans word liquid death melted <laughs> water everybody <laughs> let's get it yeah, this man, is... I'm gonna put you on this because yo like people don't know about this this is dope yeah that is dope man and they have they have a sparkling one too like bubbles. And I'm not lying. Like I don't mean to be corny, guys, but I do really feel refreshed. I mean, may- maybe I needed some water, sign, but like, <laughs> it's a different vibe than like you know just ch- ch- sipping it from like a ported spring bottle or yeah. something like that. It's from the Austrian Alps, so there you there go. You go. <laughs> and days, what is your rarest shirt that you said, yo? I don't even know if I could sell this one. I just don't know. I just don't know. I just it's, sick. It's probably the one I'm wearing. Word. And uh, I have this Pink Floyd T-shirt. 
Word. Got on the back of it says, wish you were here, which is personal to me. Yeah. Something about that message is really personal to me. Not Word. giving it up? No. <laughs> that, that ain't for me. No, 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 no. Because, I mean, I actually paid a little bit of money for that. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to get my word out of it, maybe, but I found out about it. So. Word. And, um, Daisy, if somebody wants to hit you up, they just go through your Instagram? Do they pop into your door? You can do the one, man. I'm yeah. here. 50 Island Street, number 10. What's your hours, man? Um, I'm doing appointments right now. Uh, DM me appointments, and it's um, I'll post what days I'll be in. So I'll do sporadic days in because of Word. COVID and everything. So I don't want to have a lot of people here. But I will be open this uh, Friday from 12 to 6. Usually I'll be open from 12 to 6, but if I'm open. Word. And um, when you're when you're out there searching for clothes, I bet that's changed with the COVID situation. But has it gotten in the way? What? How do you feel about that? Oh, it's changed a lot because. I don't know if you remember, they said that it was sticking to clothes at one point. Mm. Yeah. So, which doesn't make any sense to me, but that's a whole other thing. That, that, that changed, though. It, <laughs> it, it, it did change. It did change. It did change. But so, but the uh, industry of the uh, people who are the Goodwills, the Celebration Armies, they had protocols put in. So, anything that was donated to the stores right. were held for like two or three weeks. Mm. And then they could put them out. Yeah. So, and then at one point, they weren't even taking donations. Mm-hmm. So if don't say donations, I don't find yeah. them. You know, people don't throw away their clothes, old clothes. I'm not gonna find them. So basically, I reverted back to just buying stuff, finding stuff online on eBay for a little while there, and trying to find um, deals on there, and then people on Instagram as well who are selling their stuff. Because a lot of times, and then like, I go to this thing called <laughs> what people know about it, right? It's it's a goodwill bin. Yeah. Like it's it's yeah. a pile of pot, you buy uh, clothing by the pound. And that's the place where it was shut down. And that's pretty much where everybody made most of their stuff. Cause that's where you get the most bang for your buck. You can say like you're gonna you're only gonna pay a couple of cents. For, yeah. For a t-shirt. It's like over a booster pack of right. cards. Yeah. There's, there's a yeah, fire exactly. one inside yeah. there. So like that's I mean, but that place always brings the competition as well. Everybody's doing that. You know. Yeah. I don't know about that. No, I don't. Yeah, it's, it's by the pound. But I mean, he's going to make like, that I'm order. I'm here. <laughs> What's my pencil? <laughs> She's going to get a pound of clothes. I love this thing. That's why I go. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You can go. It's an experience. You can try at least go once. It's really cool. Okay. But um, they changed their hours. Now they have this whole rule there. So I kind of stayed away from it. So right now I'm just going to different. Because um, thrift stores are open again. Yeah. So we're, I'm going more to thrift stores and finding stuff like that. That's right. more traveling and stuff. More hassle, yeah. more annoying things. So you're going to one spot and find everything. Yeah. That's the thing about these, all these, um, this pandemic situation that there's a lot of businesses that suffer from assumptions. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I could stick to close. I can't imagine, I can't imagine the backlash that, that just, that one alleged fact that was, we thought was a fact. It wasn't even that. And look at all the freaking backlash, all the things we have to deal with, man. Yeah. And I hope, you know, times really do get better. And days, um, what's your favorite food, man? I'm gonna hit you with some rabbit Ooh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, have to be Mexican, and I like, I like, fa. Fa, yeah. fa, or is it fa? fa. How you say fa. it? It's fa. fa. I want to say it right. Damn, yeah, I, damn I'm a swine. So I say that fa is a lot. I like, I like Asian food. Like Asian Same food. here, man. That's dope. Definitely. That's dope. And days, um, have you ever gotten into considered getting into, um? How should I say? How do you call that? Um, uh, patching, almost like like have, have you tailoring? Mm-hmm. Have, have, have you gotten into, into tailoring? Absolutely. Your own clothes. I have a few pieces there that have, that have been over COVID. Word. Me and my, me and my, me and my mother we uh, yeah. collabed on some stuff. Right. Yo, mom yeah, mom power. It was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, there was a jean jacket that had a few patches, and you told me how your mom yeah. helped you out with that. Yeah, she's very supportive them. of like everything. She was. She was like, "What is? What am I doing here?" Like, <laughs> Trust me, it's gonna work out. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, boy, I'm like, right. like, but come on, you know, you're doing nothing like that. If I, Let's do it, yeah. do it. She's like, all right, all right. That's good. Hell yeah, I appreciate. I, I fully understand, man, because that that mask I gave you earlier, you know, me and my mother and I, we've been making masks and stuff like that, and I just started with like. I'm like, man, you need to do something, man. Like, you right. gotta, this, this, this COVID thing has everybody like pranked. Like, you need to relax. I gave her Shout some out material. To mom, Shout bro. out to mom. Right? <laughs> and ever since we've just been tailoring masks and stuff like that, and like, it, it is at the same time. I feel like you can knock another. You can knock two birds with one stone. With like, not only that you're working, staying active, doing activity with somebody that you love, but it's your mom. You know what I mean? Hey, you, you know, I hang out with you. You can't talk. You can't talk. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> when we grow up, we get we tend to be a little busy and. Um, 
days um what what I, I always what I've been trying to ask people like every single episode randomly um just random random question so I feel you've been in this game for a while and you're in a position to be poised for it what would you what is like the best advice you could suggest anybody starting like a business venture or something that is not as popular to some and stuff like that but you love it how, how, how would you what's your biggest advice to somebody that wants to get started needs to stay in it into, into the business like let's say yo if you're gonna start this business stuff mm-hmm. whatever it is is it clothing is it you know selling clip notes whatever it is mm-hmm. you know what would be, would be your best advice to that person since i, I feel like you you've You've had this for a very long time. You've been very successful with it. Well, I would say to them that they have to, whatever they choose, they have to love it. Yeah. And they, that's one thing that they're going to be like, oh, in a couple months, they're like, oh, I don't want to do this one more. So I would say whatever they choose, just love it and to keep with it. Whatever you do, just keep with it. No matter what. Because, I mean, I, I, I appreciate you saying that I'm, like, been in the game for a while. And I'd be like, I'm kind of big compared to other people I know. Yeah. I ain't doing nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but I'm, that's not stopping me, you know what I'm saying? I'm still right. gonna go. I want people to know me for this. Mm-hmm. People know me, oh, dang, you know, you got the, you got the t-shirts, you got the yeah. goatee. And I'm known for that, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I'm, I'm good with not being the biggest, but I'm good, but I wanna be known for what I do. Right. Facts, right. yeah. So, that's one thing that I would tell somebody that if you just love whatever you choose to do, you love it because, and keep with it. Mm-hmm. Because you're gonna have ups and downs, yeah. and so you go, oh, what are you doing? This is crazy. Or like, you know, there just be so like with this stuff, there's so much competition. The thing was that you could do it two ways. The competition can be against you or with you. Mm-hmm. So for me, I made friends with everybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody who does this, I made friends with them. Yeah. And be cool with them. Because it's better to have allies and enemies out there, you know what I mean? Right. But so we all doing the same thing. So people show me love, I show them mad love, you know what I'm saying? People yeah. are mad cool with this trading teas, you know, it's a community, you know what I'm saying? Northeast, Networking. And in Northeast out here, we have a lot of people that are mad cool that do the same thing I do, better than I do, better teas, mm-hmm. and we just... Open arms, open man. Open arms, bro. Everybody, you come here, you help me out, I help you out, I throw you something, you throw me something. So it's better to have this thing, because, I mean, it's competition to go out there and try to find stuff. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when you come back and you get your people... Right, it's people a healthy you know, competition. Exactly, it's very healthy. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you know, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you may not have that tea, but you have this tea. But you want that one, so you grab that tea, bring it to your, your friend, you go make a trade, or yeah. just, you know, throw some money on top of it, or whatever. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, cool. yeah, it's, it's a real cool community of people who out yeah. here who do real cool stuff. Like, it's mad, it's mad. You just have to look for it, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You have to go for it. And then nothing comes easy, man. Yeah. Hey, that was good. What's going on? I know you're a dress, you're a dress fan. How many, how many pieces of clothing you get every single, like, let's say, like, in a month? In a month? Because I know you guys I, do I, sheets. I, I fall into, like, the whole... I probably spend too much on thrifting sometimes. Um, you know, people have this idea that like, oh, thrifting, you know, you're getting clothes, it's inexpensive, which is true. That's like the best part. Oh, yeah, yeah. But if I find myself like at the thrift shop like every week, I'm like, damn, maybe I need to, I need to chill. Like, yeah. But again, that's how much I like to shop secondhand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, this is dope. Um, it was this cool. is definitely like my thing. Like yeah. I definitely wanted to be here for this interview just to, uh, yeah, yeah. to hear you and and, yeah. and you know understand like yeah. your process and how you do it. So yeah. um, you know obviously Chen too. Like Chen is a, a huge thrifter. Yeah, yeah. And um, we like to like that's what we do together. Like awesome. you know that's we'll awesome. go to Target, go to the thrift, go to the thrift, go to the thrift. Yeah, like yeah. we're always doing that. So but again we can we can get carried away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it becomes a, a passion or. A, Obsession in a sense for me because oh. some days I wake up and the shoe out of the bed and just run straight to the door. <laughs> yeah. Because in my mind, to this on my mind, I'm thinking if I don't get there first, somebody's gonna get that. Exactly, I had that, that same fear mentality. Me, like you don't know what's that. Somebody took right. my shirt. Yeah. It was here the other day. Like I'm serious. Like I, every time but I'm just like panicking. I run from the car to the store. I run because I feel like if I don't get there before this other person sees it, Boom. I'm gonna grab it. True. So my my. Uh, my my obsession for it is just insane. Like, I just, that's I, all I do. I I don't know if you've been um a victim of this or a proprietor of this, but people could I mean people could say this about me. I've 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 gone to a store, grabbed their shirt, and hit it and hit it in the oh, craziest yeah. corner. Oh, yeah. That I know even the manager isn't gonna find it. 
And I'll just come back. I'm like, oh, there you are. Let's buy this shit. <laughs> Oh, I've done that. I work in a lot of retail stores, and I've done that so many times. Yeah. Really? You work there, and you're like, oh, let me take your t-shirts over here right. and buy it on Friday when I get paid or something. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm really upset with the fact that we can't try on pants right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that has me kind of like... Nobody could try on pants? I, I just feel like I've gone to a couple of thrift shops. There was like one that was letting you, like the other ones, I couldn't try on any of the pants. So I'm like, all right, I can't go for pants. So I'll shop like dresses or. That's bad, funny though. Like, or t shirts. I'm like, I'm mad, bro. I'm like, <laughs> bro, there's, there's some thrift stores that don't even have bathrooms anymore. They're like, exactly. Bathrooms are closed. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can't try nothing. Like that. But I, I, feel, I feel like some some people took the situation and ran with it. Sometimes, oh. like you know what I mean. Like it's like, oh, those, those people aren't having bathrooms. Let's just cancel our bathrooms too. Yeah, right. It's COVID. Right. Right. It's crazy because it's not every store and it's like not consistent at all. Yeah. Some stores they do, some stores they don't. Exactly. It's like it's, wow. like, it's like open open game for whatever's going on. Yeah. Right. I hope we find. I hope with the times going on, we find a better <laughs> rules that you know yeah, things that they, along the board Especially for everybody. For retail. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, what we like about this drift days on me, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like the the funds from drift stores, I feel it goes more to the to, to the person, the community, whereas this corporate entity that could be doing whatever they want with it. It was one of the right. things that, you know, when I wanted to sit down with you and stuff like that, because like this is this is very healthy. I, I find that this is very healthy mm -hmm. instead of. Um, you know, going with the corporate route and just literally going. What what is what is what is a big fad right now? The the quick get rich quick uh, the fast, oh, fashion? fast fashion. You know, you right. know that fast fashion stuff. Like yeah. this is like it's it's not it's not like that, man. You've been you literally dedicating yourself, putting your time. You got history, man. And and all and uh, through all that time, either 1990s, 2000, 2010, or 2020. What year would you say around? What year would you say what was like? You found the craziest like burst of rare things, like rare rare T shirts. I would say maybe two or three years ago. Yeah. And at that time it was popular, but it wasn't as popular as right now. Yeah. So I found it was just an amazing thing. Like I, I the, like I said, the bin. Yeah. It was a few times that I went there and it's found the most like insane stuff, like band T shirts, a movie promo T shirts. Uh, it was just constantly finding things. More and more and more. And more. And um, I had so much stuff. I had literally like seven or six bags of t-shirts. Some good, some really good, some amazing. Yeah. And uh, the store I told you about, Metropolis in New York, they were moving to another location. So they were looking to buy stuff to fill that location up. Yeah. So we went over there with six bags of stuff. Just, and they bought almost everything. Shit. They made so much money like that. It was like, it was one of the best things that, like one of the best finds and the best sales of that. And it was about like two, three years ago. Memorable. That's yeah. just so, man. That's Do you ever so. find yourself like giving away things because oh, no, it's just I, all too much? Every, I told you, I said something just before. I said every time I sell a t-shirt, it hurts. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I'm never going to see that t-shirt. Okay. Yeah. The stuff I sold to Metropolis was stuff I was like, I shouldn't have sold that. Because <laughs> I'm never going to see that again. Right, right. That's the thing about these t-shirts. They're one of ones in a sense. I mean, you maybe find another one, the same one, but very rarely do you find very the same rare. one. Very rare. Which, again, I love about coming here, or you know, the last time I came here, I tend to thrift a lot. Um, I just know for a fact that I would have to go so much farther away to find, you know, vintage tees or graphic tees. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't feel like doing that. So, I mean, now that I know that you're here and I can find a large variety of t shirts specifically. Mm -hmm. I'll come here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let you know that I have the true vintage. I don't have right. stuff that's, you know. I mean, I have one or two, maybe 2000s, early 2000s, mm -hmm. maybe, but for the most part, it's all true vintage. That's what I true want to be pride yes, I want to be prided on it. Well, I don't be, I don't be uh, you know, they call them single stitch snobs. Yeah. Like, who just like, oh, I'm getting a single stitch. Everyone got a single stitch. I don't want it. I'm not good. Like, no. I don't even know about that. Literally. Dude, you, I feel woke. The thing was, I feel woke. It's like, but the thing is that it's a trick though, because you could find a vintage t-shirt and it would be double stitch. Uh, so some companies back in the day still made their t-shirts with double stitch. Like Nike, Nike has almost always had double stitch. So you could find a 1992 Nike t-shirt and it would be double stitch. That's dope. That's dope. So it, you know you gotta know what you're looking at and you gotta know the tags. Right. 
you gotta know the the companies that did those tags and what years they did what. It's yeah. it's a whole geek yes. thing about it. Because how are you buying a fake vintage T-shirt? Like oh, that's yeah. crazy. You, you walk into like them. Forever Twenty One or H and M, and they they're selling you fake vintage, and you're like. Yeah. How are you well, trying to make this look vintage? They're like, trying to get crazy. into that niche of being like, right. oh, you can't, you're not going to find that t-shirt. So is that right? we're going to pay like, you know, there's a, like a Coco Bank t-shirt that I want. It's like a thousand dollars, but Forever 21 got it for like 16. It's the same t-shirt. <laughs> Some sad shit. Just Some sad yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. And Daisy, do you have any shout outs, brother? Yeah, yeah, I have a few. Um, like I said, my people that, me and my vintage people from out here in the Northeast, uh, you got a uh, fell fanatic. Open that next chat. Look them up. Um, we got Lucky Finds. He's a cool guy. We got um, uh, Old Men's. Old Men's. Old Men's uh, Vintage. Old Men's cool Vintage. Cat. Yeah, cool cat. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, yeah. They're mad cool. They're like. And uh, Stone Revival. Stone Revival. Stone Revival. He's, he's, cool. he's out here. He's, uh, he's one of the ones, first guys I met out here. Mad cool. He was always. You know, he was, he was, he's a young cat, he's younger than me, but he was, he's been in the game long, he's always been up on that rock, that rock and roll, that heavy metal stuff. Yeah. So he knew, he just, one of the first people I knew who knew that, who had the mind for it. Yeah. And what to look for, and I, we, we just, I saw him at a thrift store once, we just started talking, he said what I had in mind, I saw what he had in his hand, and we just started vibing. And so then, punk rock and roll cultures have some really good collectors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really but they're very, 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 very guarded of it, you know what yeah, I'm saying? They don't yeah. want to sell it. Yeah. Because they know that this ain't, you ain't gonna find it again. Because a lot of t shirts from punk and rock is uh, stuff that you have to be at that Please, concert, the concert to get it. When to get that t shirt. Oh, yeah, that makes you can't sense. Find it. Like my, uh, that t shirt I have, that, that Marilyn Manson t shirt. Oh, holy shit. That's called a bootleg Marilyn Manson, which means that it was made by people, um, you know, not people associated with Marilyn Manson, who made it and then would go to the parking lot. And sell, sell it. And sell it okay. yeah, That's why it's called a concert. Cool. I have one like that. Yeah. You know, I feel like you should never throw those away, in no, my no, opinion. No. I have a couple, like, yeah. concert t-shirts. So you have the key. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not throwing those Even away. Even if they're new, like, 2000. I have a few, like, I got, like, a Magna Carta from, like, the Jay-Z. Oh, yeah, you got it. It. Oh. But it was a dope logo. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it looks super dope. Yeah. No, you got not any going merch anywhere. stuff, you go to the recent concerts, keep it, because that merch stuff was only being sold at those concerts. Yeah, they're yeah, gonna be, you know, they'll be somebody will be looking for that later on down the line. I have a Just always keep in your mind. I'm like, yeah, I'm just stacking those away. You know what I'm saying? Throw those away. Yeah, yeah. Man, and does like, anybody want to give shout outs to again? <laughs> <laughs> um, polish her up. She's we're on 50 Island Street. She's yeah. right down here. Um, Darielis. And since we're shopping vintage, on the topic of vintage, vintage Bowl, of course. Word. And with, hey, you say white vintage? White, uh, white witch vintage. By which, white witch, white witch vintage. Let's go. go Let's go. go. If you guys looking for the vintage dress? You know, she'll hook you up and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Vintage, she has like crazy vintage dresses and like, like old, old stuff. Old shit. That's what's up, man. Um, I want to also give shout outs. I think I gave shout outs to you, the viewer, the listener. Um, but I really want to give shout outs to a Freddy. Freddy has five ways of teeth taken out and he's still here recording this. You know what I mean? That's that's the real MVP, man. <laughs> oh, shout out, shout out to Vic with death. Too. Yo, yeah. shout out to Vic with death. Vic with death. Yo, this water's fire. I, I'm shocked too. Hey, I'm shocked too. It's good, right? <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh, no. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 <laughs> Boom, right there, Freddy. We got it.